The Ukrainian army said it was planning counterattacks to push back Russian troops who had seized territory in the northeastern Kharkiv region. According to Bloomberg, the invasion, which began two weeks ago, has opened a new front and depleted Kiev's resources. But Moscow has failed to achieve its goal of creating a buffer zone of up to 30 kilometers on Ukrainian territory, Ukrainian General Staff Spokesman Igor Prokhorenko. The enemy has been stopped, he said at a briefing in Kiev. Russia is amassing troops along the border in the neighboring Sumy region, Prokhorenko said. Defense there has been beefed up and the military will avoid the miscalculations that allowed Russians to pour into the Kharkiv region earlier this month, he said. The Ukrainian president said Ukrainian forces had secured combat control of areas where Russian troops staged an incursion this month in northern parts of Kharkiv region. Our soldiers have now managed to take combat control of the border area where the Russian occupiers entered, Volodymyr Zelensky said in his nightly video address on Friday, after meeting with military and regional officials in Kharkiv city. Ukraine's army said its forces had stopped Russia from advancing further into the Kharkiv region and were now counterattacking, but Moscow was intensifying its assault on other parts of the front. Five soldiers of the invading Russian army surrendered to Ukrainian fighters. The invaders, who were taking a position in the forest area and among them the wounded, saw the Ukrainian drone and decided to surrender. Holding a white flag and a piece of paper written, captive, in their hands, Russian soldiers went in the direction indicated by the drone and reached the position of Ukrainian fighters. Recall that as many as 18,000 Russian soldiers were said to have left the military ranks during the war in Ukraine. A significant portion of this number, conscripts who were mobilized at the beginning of the war, may have done so due to low morale, according to Ukrainian media. Kiev Independent, citing the Ukrainian Military Intelligence Agency, reports that soldiers from the Russian Southern Military District, whose units are deployed in Ukraine, are increasingly deserting their posts. Many observers point to low morale as a returning problem for the Russian armed forces fighting in Ukraine. Ukrainian media report that of the 18,000 soldiers of the Southern Military District, about 12,000 belong to the 8th Combined Army, a unit often used during wartime operations in eastern Ukraine. Ukraine mobilizes more men for army, but there are not enough armored vehicles for them. After months of controversy, a new mobilization law has finally come into force in Ukraine. The law lowers the age for conscription into the army from 27 to 25 and provides penalties for draft dodgers. As stated in the Forbes article, the reforms are expected to significantly expand the army, but there is not enough heavy equipment for all these new troops. This is a problem. Just ask the Russians, who have lost more than 15,000 armored vehicles in Ukraine and are trying to replace them. No wonder more and more Russians are going into battle in open golf carts and vintage military tractors from the 1950s with thin armor, the publication writes. Demechanization of Russian mechanized units will likely lead to slower and more limited advances, which will hamper the overall advance of Russian forces, Ukrainian think tank Frontelligence Insight explained. Ukrainian forces risk the same devolution. The Ministry of Defense in Kyiv is forming 10 new brigades with a strength of 2,000 people, expanding some battalions into brigades, transferring a lightly equipped territorial brigade to the Marine Corps, and adding an artillery brigade to the National Guard. In general, the changes could increase the brigades of the Ukrainian ground forces by about 10%. The army is forming five new infantry brigades, the 156th, the 157th, the 158th, and 159th infantry brigades are not motorized infantry brigades, meaning they lack the tracked armored vehicles that mechanized troops use to go into battle. The shortage of heavy equipment in Ukraine is so acute that one recently formed mechanized brigade, the 153rd, was actually transferred from a mechanized unit to an infantry unit. 
Ukrainians are not quite ready to ride golf carts into battle. But that could change if the vehicle shortage worsens. Since Russia launched its war against Ukraine, Kyiv has received about 7,500 armored vehicles from its foreign allies and has also recovered thousands of older Soviet-era vehicles from long-term storage. These more than 10,000 vehicles joined the thousands of vehicles that were already in service at the start of the invasion. Ukraine has lost about 5,000 pieces of equipment on the battlefield and the demand for it is constantly growing as the Ukrainian armed forces have expanded. The United States is doing its part to reduce these shortages. The first three relief packages of the $61 billion in fresh funding included hundreds of M2 combat vehicles, M113 armored personnel carriers and armored trucks. But even these hundreds of vehicles are not enough. It is safe to say that the increase in the size of the Ukrainian army significantly outpaced its mechanization. The fact that most of the newest brigades are infantry is proof of this.